when you do UVs, you want to cut your UVs wherever you have 90 degree angles. Hello and welcome to another episode of How Do I UV That? where I show you how to UV a model that was sent by a subscriber of the channel. Okay, so in this episode we have a crate, it looks like. Uh, it's sci-fi kind of looking crate. Topology looks good, so let's go ahead and open the UV window. Let's see. I'm going to click on the shaded just to see what's going on here. Okay, so it looks like this is a... Um, symmetrical model. So what we can do is, when I have a symmetrical model, what I like to do is just do UVs on one side. So what I'll just do is, I'm just going to delete half and work on half the model. You could potentially use symmetrical, um, I mean symmetry on, but I just prefer to do it this way. So let's go ahead and I prefer to always start just by doing a planar map on the whole thing. Just wipe out anything that we have here and start from scratch. So for um, hard surface models like this one, typically you want to have planar maps uh, for your UVs. So, and typically what I like to do is I like to, when I do UVs, I like to do the easy parts first and then move on as we go along. So let's do the bottom first. Let's see, so what I'm going to do is select these guys. I'm going to apply a planar map to that. And usually for hard surface models, you want to make sure that you have your UVs as straight as you can. So like this. And in, uh, in Maya, you can do you can select the UVs. So these are not completely straight, but let's say I want them to be completely straight. Let's see, in Maya 2018, I believe it's under a line, and you have to use one of these. So I'm going to use this one. So it basically aligns it going uh, right. And these other ones are okay. I mean, you can always align them if you want to. Like for example, you could um, select these, use that same tool, and make them straighter. Having straight UVs is pretty important when you do hard surface models. Although it's not as important as it used to be in the past where you would do textures using Photoshop, which, uh, you know, in Photoshop you're required to have UVs that are really straight and easy to follow in, as, as far as the shapes, because in Photoshop you would need some kind of guidance. But nowadays, since we're using Substance Painter, for example, for textures, it's not as important, but it's still, still good to have really straight UVs when you're doing hard surface models. And one of the things for that, too, is that it allows you to pack your UVs really, really well. Okay, so let's move on. Let's see. So, as I said, I like to start with the easy parts. Let's do... Hmm, let's do this face. Faces. Play the map. Line it up a little bit. I would do the straighten tool, use the straighten tool to make this straight. And so typically when you do UVs, you want to cut your UVs wherever you have 90 degree angles. So in this case, you have one right here. So you're going from here to here. There's this 90 degree um, change in the topology of the model. So you will have to cut your UVs there basically. And you have to have these separate because there's a 90 degree angle here from here to there. So this would be another UV. Um, mine are red, which means they are flipped UVs. I'm going to come back to that later. Let's see what else here. So we have that there. So these guys right here, we can have them connected. We don't have to break them here because this is not a 90 degree angle. This is more like a 45 or so. 
So these can be connected. Same with these pieces. But then we will have to break them here because of that 90 degree change. Let's do a planar map. And for those, I'll probably use the unfold tool in Maya. Just to help out with the distortion and such. Let's see what it looks like. Yeah, that looks good. We we'll do the same thing here. Let's do it all the way there. Let's do a planar map. There we go. And then I would do the other side. And then, as I said, you can probably connect this here if you want to. And then I would use again the uh, straighten tool just to make this straight. Like so, like that. And then see that. So you end up with something like this. So let's move on. Do I did I do this already? No. Okay, so let's do these pieces. Oops. Do a planar map on those. There we go. So this means that because of the shape and because of the 90 degree angles, we end up with more UV um, shells here, which typically you, the least amount of UV shells, the better, just because it um, UV shells, UV cuts contribute to the vertex count total when you uh, export it to like a game engine or, so, or something like that. Let's do a planer here. So it's better to have less UV cuts. These are going to have to be separate planer maps. Okay, let's see how, how are we doing here. Let's do the top. Let's do these pieces. Well, not that one. Play in the map. Again, that's this is typically how it goes when you uh, do um, hard surface models. It's mostly planar maps. And then this one I can probably connect it. It's mostly planar maps and sometimes connecting pieces. Well, I will have to unfold that one. Let's see. Fold it. Okay, so now it's back to what it should be. So, yes, we're going to end up with a lot of uh, UV shells for this model. Now, for the interior, I can probably get away with um, having this piece as one UV shell. Let's try that. Let's see, one UV shell. And then we can try the unfold too. It's not the greatest UV here, but I think it should work for the most part. Let's see, what else do we need? We need the sides here. So planar, it's mostly planar maps. You don't have to use planar maps, you can just cut them and then use the unfold tool as well. Now for the front here, probably probably make this into one. Mm, let's see. Yeah, let's do it that way. So that and then unfold it. Okay, so, let's see. So, mostly planar maps. I'm sorry, this is a little boring because it's pretty... It's really straightforward just to do something like this. Let's see. This can be one. 
and let's do the side as well. Plane our map again. This other side as well. Another planar map. Do the same thing we did with the other one. Planar and then you can do an unfold. Same here. And for the bottom, once again. And these are going to have to be separate. So final piece here I believe is the front. Which I could probably connect this way. Including this. Planar map it. Then I think the interior we can probably have it as one piece. I know it has those uh, 90 degree angles that we talked about, but I think if we unfold it, we should be okay here. And the reason for that we, the reason why I'm leaving it this way is because it's the interior area, so you're not gonna see it too much anyway. So uh, just a small, like a bit of distortion should be okay, and then I would. Um, align this right here and do this obviously you have to watch out for the distortion that's happening which there is distortion in there but for the purposes of packing the UVs here and because I know I'm not going to see this too much in my render uh, I'm just going to leave it that way so I think I have all the pieces done let's see What are these? I'm missing these pieces. Okay, so the sides. Plane on up. Then these are... Okay. A plane on that, and then a final. Playing a map, and that should cover all of it. So now the line, of, the final thing we have to do is pack the UVs. So in Maya, I like to use the layout tool. So let's go to modify layout. And this is what I get, which looks okay. I mean, you can always, I, I like to use the layout tool just as a as a start and then what I do is I come in and I just move pieces just to pack them better you know you always want to make sure you're not wasting space like I wouldn't leave this like like it is right now because it's just wasting too much space so I would go ahead and pack them you know make sure you're not wasting space that's basically the whole premise of packing stuff in the UV quadrant so I just use the layout tool as a as an initial pass and then I, I come back and pack things correctly and now obviously you want to make sure that everything here looks good um, there is distortion up here so I could potentially just do a planar map on the top part same here let's try this again let's lay out and that looks I think that looks better probably have to let's see unfold this piece let's see where is the unfold tool okay so that's much better and then the other one as well okay then let's lay it out one more time obviously you have to clean this up and pack it better oh and finally because this was a, a mirror model we can just duplicate it, well, 
Let me modify these transformations first. I'm just going to duplicate it and let's see, negative one. And then just merge this, combine it, and then I'm going to merge the vertices in the middle. Okay, so now it's one piece. And we have overlapping UVs now, which means the textures on this side will be will display on the other side as well. So yeah, there we have it. Oh, one last thing. Usually when you want to export to like a substance painter or such, or bake your normal maps, you want to make sure you go to mesh display, soften and harden edges. This will make it so that, oh, this looks weird. This doesn't look right, let's see. Let's just play unlock first. Let me unlock my. So do uh, an unlock normals first and then do the soften harden edges. This is basically going to soften the edges that are connected in the UV space and the edges that are not, it's going to harden those edges. So our 90 degree angles are going to be hard edges. And then the areas where, like for example here, these are connected in our UV space. So those are soft edges. So now our model is ready for baking you know, a high poly details to a low poly model. So yeah, that's basically all I wanted to show with this one. Hopefully you learned how to UV map a hard surface model. Um, make sure you leave a like and uh, subscribe to the channel, share the, the video and yeah, just leave your comments in the comment section and Send your models to the uh, description below and until next time, I'll see you next time. Do you want to learn how to create a scene using Unreal Engine 4? Click the link in the description and I will show you how to make 3D models and put them together in a scene using Unreal Engine 4. You will also learn how to do stylized sliding, plus how to make a stylized smart material in Substance Painter so you can improve your texture workflow. Click on the link in the description to get started today.